Hi, I'm Suzanne Collins, author of the Hunger Games Trilogy. I'm sworn to secrecy, so I can't really tell you anything about book three. What I can do is remind you of where we left off at the end of Catching Fire, that Katniss has been rescued by the rebels while PETA is in the hands of the capital, that the country is in the midst of a revolution, and that Plutarch Heavensby has said, we had to save you because you're the Mockingjay, Katniss. While you live, the revolution lives. There are definitely bits and pieces of characters that were inspired by people in my own life. For instance, if you take the crew who create the Hunger Games each year, a lot of those personalities, their attitudes, their absorption with the show they're creating come from my work in television. In a way, it's very easy for me to imagine the world of the game makers because in a much gentler way, I was one myself. I've learned it helps me to work out the key structural points before I begin a story. The inciting incident, act breaks, mid-story reversal, crisis, climax, those sorts of things. I know a lot of what fills in the spaces between them as well, but I leave some uncharted room for the characters to develop. And if a door opens along the way and I'm intrigued by where it leads, I'll definitely go through it. hiding. I'd be scaling those trees like Katniss and Rue. Since I was trained in sword fighting, I guess my best hope would be to get hold of a rapier if there was one available. But the truth is, I'd probably get about a four in training. The very beginning of a new story, but it's too soon to talk about it and I'd really like to go on a vacation. <laughs>